Hey guys, Zacharias here. We are changing up a little bit, going a little old school. Going to try to hunt some uh, mule deer with the uh, muzzle loader and uh, whitetail deer with the compound. Um, enter entered in competition for both of those, and uh, the whitetail I have to take with a bow, either recurve or compound. So, otherwise, I would be trying to use the uh, muzzle loader, which I absolutely adore so much fun to shoot. Highly recommend getting one. So, I know that there's both whitetail and mule on this map, and uh, you know, it's about 50-50 on which one you're going to get, it seems like, for me anyway. So, let's head out here into the, into the clearing, and hopefully we get some clues. And as usual, I will uh, see you, see when we find something worthwhile, and that is female, and that's not worthwhile, obviously. So we're gonna keep looking, but a lot of times where there's the females, there's some males nearby. So I also have the uh, hunting blind with me, so we might put that to good use in one of these open fields. Try to draw in a white tail for that bow shot, or even a mule deer for the muzzle loader shot, since they're both not really long range weapons by any means. So we're gonna have to have to get these uh, deer in close. All right. Well, we made it to my first clearing that I like to check, and I don't see or hear anything. Haven't seen any tracks either. I heard the uh, occasional doe bleeding off to the left, but uh, nothing really worthwhile at this point. So. Oh, we might have something here. Let's, let's take a look. It's the first set of tracks I found. That's a male deer. So that's pretty old, but it's the best thing we got. So I'm going to he start heading this direction. Maybe we'll uh, bump into him. And there's his next set of tracks. So when we get a little closer, I'll, uh, I'll get back with you guys here shortly. Okay, just an update here. We just uh, followed up probably, I don't know, probably about eight tracks. We're heading out into the field, my first field that I like. Um, Looks like this track is 36 to 60 minutes old. So, just to give you an idea what the tracks look like right now, you can see it kind of makes an S pattern. It's just wandering around, it looks like. So, hopefully, we catch up here shortly. Okay, we just found some scat here, and uh, probably about six or seven tracks further than the last time I updated you guys. So, now we're down to 16 to 41 minutes, so we're getting close. But he's still outside of that circle, so he's still a little ways off. But uh, with these wide open fields, we should see him quite a ways out. Okay, I hear some movement. I don't know if that's going to be him or not, but I hear footsteps. So I'm going to put on some scent block here. Which I have equipped already, so that's good. Oh, it's a little, that's a little Bambi, so we're just going to avoid her. Just a false alarm. I didn't think he, he'd be this close, given the clues. So we're just going to try to move by her nice and quiet. Like, we might see him down here in the clearing. Take a quick look here. Just looking for any type of movement. Okay, there's one out there. Out here, right in the center of the screen, right there. That would be a buck. I wonder if that's ours. We'll find out here in a second. If I can lock on. That's smaller. That's 65 to 95, so I don't think that's ours. Could be. So we're just going to follow the tracks here. We're going to continue. We'll know if our tracks lead us right, right down that hill there. So, all the 
this uh, dense veg vegetation definitely makes tracking a lot tougher. Especially when you try and be quiet. And we found one over here. That might be our guy. I thought it said 95 to 135 was the weight. I mean, I guess if he hits 95, like the, the spot said, then he is within the, the minimum range. Now if he calls out from over there and it doesn't say new trail, then we'll know that that is our, our deer. If it does say new trail discovered, then we'll know that he's a different one. So I'm kind of hoping he speaks up here, gets a little, vocalizes a little bit here. Could be a big clue. I don't know. I'm thinking that is not ours. There's a hog down there, too. Unless he circled... Oops, sorry about that. Unless he circled around. But we're not in any big hurry. we got plenty of daylight left. So... Seven to thirty-two minutes, so we are getting closer. He could just be right over top of this hill in a clearing, hopefully so. And hopefully he's a lot bigger than that last one. I want him to be over hundred kilograms at the minimum. I'd like to see him well over hundred kilograms. Should say that's his track now. There he is. still tracking here continuous straight so that deer definitely wasn't ours so what I just did here was I'm creeping along but there's a lot of uh, hills and stuff that I'd like to see up over for reference so rather than walk straight up and down looking for the next one I'll stop take a peek take a look around and I think I see our next track right there so I won't move while I'm uh, standing um, I'll just use I'll just stop and take a peek and then pop back down again. I might be being I might be a little overcautious, but you know, you never you never lost a deer for being overcautious. And that sounds like a moose. Okay, just found some more scat. We're less than a minute to 24 minutes, so we're getting real close. And uh, we got a circle, we got a solid circle, so we're getting close here. And of course, that's right about when the when the bushes start to get more dense. So it kind of sucks for us. Luckily, we're being very stealthy. And we're not in any big hurry. Now right here I'm just going to do a quick stand. Stand up, take a look around for my next, my next uh, track. And it's sometimes tough to see with all these flowers because the red kind of blends in a little bit. So... A few things going against us, but we won't let that be worry us too much. There we go track dead ahead. So we are sl slowly but surely catching up with them. 
I'll grant you it might be by the time we get to the other side of the island, but we will get this deer. I promise you that. We'll get him with a muzzle letter. We'll go medieval on his ass. Okay. Still got the solid circle. Which means he's not outrunning us. I'm just going to stay here and take a quick look around here. You know, I'm really surprised we're not hearing him call out. He's quiet. Now, even though this is a little bit off-center, I'm going to take the high ground here, just a little bit. Just so I don't miss any markers up here, hopefully. been traveling really straight lately as you can see by the hunter mate all the X's on it he's been pretty much going straight so there he is there's the uh, sorry there's the track not him he's up here somewhere I'd like to see him in this next clearing that'd be nice course a little bit. doesn't go down this little ravine where it's all trees and hills. I hope he goes left. But it looks like he's going straight for this this little uh, depression here. Yeah, this is pretty much where I don't want him to be in. Advantage of Buck. Oh, looks like he went up that hill. So that's good. That's good. His tracks are still going straight, so that's good. Awesome. Should get a time stamp on this one here. Basically, they're saying we're right on top of them. I don't think 
this is a dense bit of uh, brush here. I think we'll pretty much go through it and come out on the other side with a clearing. We got lucky. We happened to drift the way that he, that he went. Could have easily went off to the right, and we would have been a little off course and had to backtrack. Lost a little bit of time, but. steps. Alright. Might have to do this quicker than I expected. Okay, there's something. That's a coyote down there. A couple coyotes. That's not what I want to see. They will spook easy. there too. I'm freaking surrounded. I don't want them to spook and then spook the deer. Man, he's heading right for him. Okay, now it looks like he's diverted. There goes the coyotes. Oh, man, I hope that didn't spook the deers. Or the deer, the buck. Oh boy. If it did, I'm definitely going to have to edit this one down. This track's taking a long time. But I'll tell you what, I don't mind it. It, it definitely makes the, the shot a whole lot more satisfying. When you have to work for it. Oh yeah, he's outside of that ring now. I think I think it might have spooked him. We'll know if we see fleeing on the next set of tracks. And it's yeah, it's straight out ahead here. Dang it! I think those coyotes gave me away. That's the tough thing is you got to navigate through a minefield of other animals to get to the one you want. You start getting close and something like that happens. I mean, what are you going to do? Looks like he's still roaming. Yeah. Okay. How oh, I was... Maybe he, maybe he didn't get spooked.
doesn't have really too f anywhere he can really go. He's up against the coast. I literally did. I I tracked him across the island. Looking for movement out there on that coast. Oh, he completely changed direction there. Made a hard left. Still, uh, no fleeing, so... That's good. That's good. Wait, is that him? I see something out there. Between those trees. Sorry about that. Sticky keys got me. Yeah, it's just a coyote. I need them to get the hell away from me. Those are some uh, hog tracks. Where's he at? Where is he at? Is that him right ahead of us? No, that's a coyote. See him underneath that pine tree right there? That's a coyote again. Let's do a little stand up and look around for our next spot. one so he, he made left he went left That's not the ones we want. Why are we picking those up now? That's not right. Did we accidentally pick up hog tracks? Oh god. It's just wasting time unnecessarily here. Alright, once I get back on track, I'll jump, bring you guys back in. Alright, so this is a little weird. I'm still on the hog tracks. But uh, I came back here, and this is showing it as mule deer, right? So I'm going to go track again. And now I'm walking just because I'm wasting too much time backtracking. Looks like we're back on track, so that's good. I'm not sure how I ended up on the hog tracks. Just wasn't paying attention close enough, I guess. Okay, what did he do? Go for a swim or something? That's nice. So I guess I get to walk the coast and hopefully bump into the next, next set of tracks. Looked like he was heading this way, so we'll give it a shot. Maybe he drowned. Take a quick look through my binoculars, see if I th see anything moving out here. Not 
in this way. Should have left the track by now. The coyote tracks. Alright, I'm turning around. I think he just ghosted right into that water. out if uh, we lost him because of a glitch. Oh, here we go. It's going to say we lost him because of a glitch. So, just because your direction's trying to tell you to do one thing, don't necessarily believe it 100%. Alright, we're losing this trail, so I'm just going to walk this now. Hopefully these coyotes are out of our way for the rest of this. Down, stays down there near the coast that'll make him easy to spot that's that's good what did I just pick up oh he's fleeing alright so he must have saw me or the coyote spooked him either or That's why I gained so much ground on us right there. There he is. That's gonna be him because it didn't say new new animal. So let's give him a little grunt back. set up our blind. I'm thinking I'll throw some scent out here too. Oh, it feels good to finally hear him. My God. What a long ass track. It better be worth it. I'm just going to set up right here. This looks nice. Yep. Okay, we are good to go. He should be plenty far from us. So we don't disturb him. Alright, let's get in. 
bring him in. Now it's time for him to come to us. There he is. I can see him between those trees. Right there. See him? He's right there. There he is. <laughs> right next to the coyotes. So yeah, I'm thinking those coyotes uh, spooked him. But it does look like he's coming our way, so that's good. Well guys, I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, you know, it's just uh, meticulous work here. Hard to hear him grunting. Well, keep my hunter made out. This water's a little bit loud. Oh, that's the track that I set this tent up or this uh, blind up on. I think he's behind that bush. Right there, that big bush right in the middle of the screen. Yeah, he's gotta be. Give him another little call here. Switch over to our rangefinder. I will be using the muzzle loader, but that does have quite a bit of drop. If you've seen my uh, muzzle loader uh, shooting range vi video, 50 meters it starts to uh, to drop a little bit. So knowing the range is very important with us. In order to get a really good shot, I mean, you you'll probably hit the body if you just guess, but I want to bring him down with the first shot if possible. He'll be coming out from behind there shortly. It's just a matter of time. Let's put a little bit of... I'm sure that my scent eliminator has worn off. Now oh, there he is. Okay, he's a little further out than I expected. Okay, when I look, look through there, we have the the bush that pops up. No, you can't. Really, there he is. It's all moving back there. He's taking his time. He's being cautious. Hopefully, that means he's big. That's our boy. We've been tracking him for a long time. He's 91 meters, so basically I'd have to end hit his upper neck in order to just hit him in the chest at this distance. And it's really tough with iron sights to get a steady shot. Plus, I'm gonna have to do this from a standing position, which is even more unsteady. Plus, I'm still a skill one with the muzzle loader since I just got it yesterday. So let's bring him in nice and close. 
Worst comes to worst, we'll just have to track him down again. I mean, he's not the biggest, but he ain't too bad. I like how they show the score, the possible score, so. Alright, I want him about 40 meters would be just fine. If he stops now, it should just be a dead, should be no drop to this shot. Let's make sure that we are locked and loaded. Next time he stops, he's mine. That should drop him right where he was at. Yep. I think I probably hit the lungs. I think I was a little high for the heart. Looking for anything fleeing. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking for any, any animals that I might have missed. Maybe hauling ass through the forest. So, after after your shot, just take a quick look around. See if you see anything else worthwhile running from you. All right, let's go up there here and harvest this one. This is well, uh, well earned. Uh, maybe a neck shot there. All right, let's take a look. Oh, just a body shot, 152. So not not big at all, not as big as I hope. But hey, that was uh, that was good practice right there. So and apparently I completed some mission that that doc gave me. So oh, I'm in 20th place in the biggest mule competition intermediate. So whoop de doo. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. It's been, it was a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, a lot of effort, but uh, it, it paid off in the end. So we'll always get our buck next time, guys. Bye-bye.